You are a perfect match for Philip. The love that the two of you share, it's obvious to all of us. It's a small town jukebox rock and roll. I mean, who could plan three weddings and still survive? Yeah, like old train playing when it hits your soul. You are exactly what Philip needed. A yin to his yin. Get the whole thing shaking when we hit the floor. Sometimes it all just works out. Just getting started. Let's see where it goes. I know this will be the best day of our lives. I cannot wait to call you my husband. I'm so glad I swiped right. Love, Mrs. Yapin. She didn't even swipe though. Her friend had her phone, but you know, I'll take it, I'll take it. <laughs> oh my God, Lana, it's beautiful. Elizabeth, I love you in ways that I never knew existed. You have changed me and helped me grow into the man I always hoped I could be. I love you so much and cannot wait to lay beside my wife at the end of the night. Yours forever, Philip. You have shared the past few years together, and over time you have grown the love which has brought you to this day. Your mother is watching over us, and she, I know, helped you meet Elizabeth. So, so you know I'm a little bit indecisive. One thing I have never questioned is how I feel about you. I remember sitting at Jenny's on our first date. You talked about your family mainly how proud and protective of your siblings you were. I could instantly see what a selfless person you were. I vowed to put in the work for us, to fight for us, to never give up on us. There was never a moment I didn't trust you, and I vowed to ensure our relationship is built on trust and transparency. You have no idea how much you have taught me. You taught me to believe in family again, and I vow to always be your family. I love you. Today just adds to the list of things in our life that I need to thank you for. Everyone here has watched me grow while you have been in my life. And I am very fortunate to have such an amazing family and a support system who has helped me throughout my life overcome the obstacles that have come but not only have you supported me through these challenges, you have empowered me to grow and become the man that I've always dreamed. This wasn't the intention. The problem is they don't sell smaller ones anywhere close by. Oh, man, it's cold. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> Without you, I would have never found myself in the current path that I am on, the happiest that I have ever been. This perfect, perfect place. This is whatever your winter one would have been. <laughs> Could not have compared to this. You look great. I owe you so much, and I vow to work every day to be the man that you deserve. You decided to take a chance on me, and I promise to always make you feel that, that was the best decision you ever did make. You saved me, and you are my everything. Under the tutelage of Eileen and Sue, Elizabeth will no doubt become the next great matriarch of the Yadvins. To all of the aunts and uncles, you are a blessing to our family. Philip, you have always made me proud, but seeing you choose such a wonderful woman in Elizabeth is the icing on the cake. Friends and family, by the power vested in me by the state of Illinois, it is my pleasure to introduce you for the first time to Mr. and Mrs. Yatman. You may kiss your bride. Philip and Elizabeth, may you be a blessing to each other as you are a blessing to our family. Mazel tov and l'chaim. Got me, got me feeling good. 
Phil was a bit of a fixer-upper when Elizabeth and Phil met. Happiness is here at last. It was a situation that, uh, you know, we were worried about. Um, and since then, it's just been really all up and to the right uh, for Phil. Now I clearly see So he wanted a Green Lantern comic book read, and I said no forever. Most people wouldn't be super excited about having their sister-in-law live with them for the entire month before their wedding. Now it's happening. When did she drop you? She wanted to pick me up. She got so excited and picked me up and then fell backwards and <laughs> dropped me. Where did she drop you? Back into the window. Oh my god. <laughs> you know you can't pick her up today, right? Not today. Not today. <laughs> Is she up here hidden somewhere? How did you know? And the first time Phil walked into my apartment, he strolled in, smug look on his face, overly confident. And he said, uh, I heard you went to Purdue. And I said, I heard you're unemployed. <laughs> I've been waiting on that one. Do you have money? No. <laughs> I don't know. Can we have money? <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> That's a much better office. Keep your hands I didn't know the day I met Phil that he would be the reason I felt confident moving away because my sister had a new best friend and now she has Phil to love her and fight with her and <laughs> make her laugh. I am so happy for the two of you. I'm so proud of you individually and as a couple. So here's to the bride and groom. Lahayam. It's one try. We love all of you and we're just we're so excited to to start the next chapter of our future with all of you involved. Lahayam. <laughs> <laughs>